Vasily Kandinsky. Vasily Kandinsky, a prominent Russian painter and art academic, played a significant role in pioneering 20th century abstract painting. The artist steered away from representational art, believing that art should be free from the constraints of depicting the physical world. Instead, he emphasized the expression of inner emotions and spirituality. Initially studying law and economics at Moscow University, Kandinsky abandoned a promising legal career to pursue his passion for painting. In 1896, he enrolled at the University of Munich to pursue painting, and later, in 1911, he founded the Blue Rider Group in Munich, along with artists like Franz Marc, August Mack, and Paul Klee. The movement, a form of expressionism, emphasized optimism, positive emotions, and artistic reflection, leading art towards the revolutionary stage of abstraction. The name Blue Rider derived from a magazine co-published by Kandinsky and Franz Marc, featuring Kandinsky's abstract drawing of a blue and black horseman on its cover. This theme, a favorite of both artists, frequently appeared in their works. The First World War interrupted the movement in 1914, prompting Kandinsky's temporary return to Russia. In 1921 he received an invitation from the architect Walter Gropius to teach drawing and painting at the famous Bauhaus School in Weimar, Germany. The Bauhaus was an educational institution, that revolutionized object and architectural design by advocating for a modern perspective, emphasizing the fusion of functionality and mass production with artistic innovation. His tenure at Bauhaus, 1922-1933, marked his most productive period, exploring geometric forms, angles, curves, straight lines and the power of colors. Kandinsky believed that color, akin to music, had the ability to evoke emotions and reach the inner aspects of people, without necessarily taking the form of an object or shape. This philosophy inspired his creations, characterized by vibrant colors, bold shapes, and dynamic compositions. In 1933, the school was forcibly shut down by the Nazis. Following this event, Kandinsky relocated to Paris, where he remained for the rest of his life, continuing his brilliant artistic career. Kandinsky's artistic journey can be divided into five distinct periods. The first period, from 1896 to 1908, focused on works related to his homeland, Russia. The second influenced by Fauvism and Expressionism, extending from 1908 to 1911. The third period, from 1911 to 1920, the most crucial, marked the rise of abstract expressionism. The fourth, from 1920 to 1933, incorporated elements from both Russian and Bauhaus influences, showcasing geometric shapes and cool colors. The fifth and final period relates to the years that he lived in Paris, from 1933 until his death in 1944, emphasized ornamentation and a rich color scale. The stages of abstract art can be studied in three main types of Kandinsky's work, from 1911 to 1920, namely improvisations, impressions, and compositions. In his early works from the period of 1911 to 1913, abstract expressionism takes center stage, although a few elements hint at real-world imagery. This form of expressionism resonates with the purity of forms, the intensity of colors, and often carries a sensitivity and lyrical quality akin to music. These works, titled Improvisations, were characterized by Kandinsky as unconscious, spontaneous expressions of an inward, non-material nature. The third category, compositions, includes spontaneous arrangements of color and line formations adapted to a predetermined design. 
Kandinsky described them as expressions of inner emotions. His works convey an impression that they result from internal emotional tension, adding depth and complexity to his artistic creations. Upon close examination, viewers discern that every brushstroke and line in Kandinsky's painting serves a purpose, contributing to the overall spiritual essence of his work. His cherished term, Beistig, meaning spiritual in German, encapsulates his artistic vision, encompassing elements of spirit, intellect, and religion. Through meticulous placement of each element, Kandinsky infused his art with profound spiritual content, inviting viewers to delve into the depths of his creativity. The period until 1920, commonly known as the Blue Rider era, is considered the best of Kandinsky's career. During this time, abstraction predominates, yet traces of expressionist moods permeated his paintings, creating a striking intensity. Certain pieces from this period, characterized by their rich expressionist colors and intricate, dynamic designs, closely paralleled the emerging movement of abstract expressionism that gained prominence in the United States, after 1945. This period not only marked Kandinsky's artistic zenith, but also laid the groundwork for the evolution of abstract art on a global scale. Vasily Kandinsky Red Church in Ittaka Created in 1908, the painting currently resides in the Tretyakov Museum in Moscow. This artwork is one of his early works and showcases his transition from representational art to abstraction. The painting portrays a picturesque church set against a lush landscape beside a serene lake. The composition is notable for its vibrant colors and bold brushstrokes, revealing Kandinsky's departure from traditional artistic conventions. The choice of a red palette, along with hues of green, white, and blue, contributes to the emotional and spiritual resonance of the artwork. In art, red is often associated with strong emotions, passion, and spirituality. Kandinsky's choice of this intense color suggests a deliberate attempt to infuse the artwork with emotional depth and a spiritual dimension. The contrast of red with green, white, and blue creates a dynamic interplay of colors. Green can symbolize nature and growth, white may connote purity or transcendence, while blue often represents calm and spirituality. The deliberate arrangement of these colors contributes to the overall mood and atmosphere of the painting. The use of bold colors and expressive strokes deviates from realistic depictions but is still able to convey the essence of the subject, particularly the architectural elements of the church. This balance between abstraction and representation reflects Kandinsky's experimentation with form and his desire to convey spiritual meaning through recognizable symbols. The composition, with the church and its reflection in the lake occupying the upper section, draws attention to the spiritual and transcendental elements of the scene. The mirrored reflection adds a layer of complexity to the composition, blurring the boundaries between the physical and the ethereal. The use of reflections in the lake, reminiscent of Impressionist techniques, is a notable feature. Impressionist artists often used reflections to create a sense of immediacy and capture the play of light. Kandinsky's adoption of this technique adds depth and dimension to the composition. The artwork, marks a transitional phase from representational art to abstraction. The elements of the painting, such as the expressive use of color, bold brushwork, and spiritual undertones, indicate the radical departure from traditional artistic norms that Kandinsky would undertake in his later abstract works. Vasily Kandinsky Blue Rider 
This artwork, dating back to 1903, currently resides in a private collection in Zurich. The painting's title is not just an iconic artwork of Kandinsky, but was also the name of the influential art movement he co-founded with Franz Marc in 1911, aimed to promote avant-garde and spiritual ideas in art. The Blue Rider can be seen as a precursor to the group's manifesto, emphasizing the transcendence of artistic boundaries. The focal point of the painting is a knight, donned in a blue cloak, riding a white horse across a vibrant meadow filled with an array of colors. The color palette of the Blue Rider plays a pivotal role in conveying the vibrancy of the meadow and the atmospheric conditions. The predominant hues include light green, yellow, blue, white, and brown-orange, creating a lively and harmonious visual experience. The contrast of light green and yellow against the blue and white creates a sense of dynamism and energy. The use of brown-orange adds warmth to the composition, while the dominance of blue, especially in the night's cloak and the sky, may symbolize depth, spirituality, or the infinite. Towering trees frame the upper portion of the painting, offering a glimpse of the blue sky adorned with fluffy white clouds, providing context and depth to the scene. Kandinsky's adept use of color and his mastery in capturing the interplay of light and shadow on the sunlit meadow demonstrate the artist's connection to Impressionist influences. However, what distinguishes the Blue Rider is Kandinsky's innovative approach to form, hinting at the impending shift toward abstraction. Elements like the knight and the horse are discernible, but Kandinsky begins to blur the lines, suggesting a departure from representational art. The knight in the painting takes on symbolic significance in Kandinsky's interpretation, representing the eternal struggle between good and evil, spirit and matter. Through this symbolism, the artist communicates a profound spiritual journey, positioning himself as a guide for art to transcend conventional boundaries. It reflects Kandinsky's interest in conveying deeper philosophical and spiritual ideas through his art. The Blue Rider encloses Kandinsky's transition towards abstraction, shaping the course of abstract art. The painting emerges not just as a visually captivating artwork, but as a multidimensional piece that showcases Kandinsky's artistic vision and the emergence of a new transformative artistic movement. Vasily Kandinsky Riding Couple This artwork, created in 1906, currently resides in the Lombarcos Museum in Munich. The painting exudes a dreamlike quality and is reminiscent of fairy tales, showcasing the artist's fascination with vibrant colors and atmospheric scenes. The foreground of the painting features a calm and serene couple riding atop a horse, suggesting a sense of unity and tranquility. The artist skillfully captures the effects of light, especially in the cityscape background. The dazzling lights illuminate the city, creating a radiant glow that is reflected on the water's surface. The interplay of light and reflection not only adds realism to the scene, but also imparts a sense of magic and fantasy, enhancing the dreamlike quality of the painting. The painting is a captivating blend of artistic influences, with a dreamlike composition that incorporates elements of Impressionism, Post-Impressionism, Fauvism, and pointillism. The influence of Impressionism is seen in the emphasis on capturing the fleeting effects of light and color, as well as the use of visible brushstrokes. Post-Impressionist and Fauvist influences can be observed in the bold and expressive use of color, with a departure from realistic color representation in favor of emotional and subjective expression. The use of pointillism, characterized by the application of small luminous dots of color, 
is not only apparent in the background lights but also in the depiction of the couple, the horse, and the surrounding elements. This technique allows for the blending of colors and the creation of a visually stimulating effect. The choice of a couple riding atop a horse in the foreground could carry symbolic significance. Horses are often associated with freedom, strength, and movement, and the couple's serene demeanor adds a layer of emotional depth to the scene. The painting could be interpreted as a symbolic representation of the artist's yearning and longing for Moscow, his cherished city. The fairy tale like quality might evoke a sense of nostalgia or a desire to return to a place of personal significance. The artist effectively uses perspective to create spatial depth within the composition. The couple in the foreground appears closer and more detailed, while the city in the background is rendered with a slightly blurred effect, reinforcing the sense of distance. The artwork, is a captivating blend of artistic influences, with a dreamlike composition that incorporates elements of Impressionism, Post-Impressionism, Fauvism, and Pointillism. The use of color, light, and arrangement contributes to the creation of a visually striking and emotionally evocative piece that invites viewers to explore the interplay between reality and imagination. Vasily Kandinsky. Improvisation 11. The artwork, created in 1910, resides within the Russian Museum of St. Petersburg. This painting is part of Kandinsky's abstract series called Improvisations, described by the artist as unconscious, spontaneous expressions of an inward, non-material nature. It portrays a sailboat navigating turbulent waters. Kandinsky employs bold and vibrant colors, such as fiery reds, oranges, yellows, deep blues, and purples. The fiery reds and oranges in the upper part of the painting can be interpreted as representing intensity, conflict, or danger. The deep blues and purples in the lower part of the painting may suggest a sense of depth, mystery, or tranquility. The dominant yellow in the center, according to Kandinsky's own acknowledgement, evokes discomfort, contributing to the emotional complexity of the artwork. Dynamic and sweeping brushstrokes are used to create a sense of movement and energy on the canvas. The composition is abstract rendering objects and figures nearly unrecognizable, inviting viewers to engage in subjective interpretation. The sailboat navigating turbulent waters serves as the central motif, a common theme in Kandinsky's works where he often depicted journeys or struggles. The yellow dominating the sail and boat's hull in the center evokes discomfort, as noted by Kandinsky. The gradual transition of yellow into green or blue at the bottom creates a sense of calm. To the right, figures with beards wield long rifles, resembling a firing squad, suggesting a sense of danger or conflict. Above them, two menacing figures in red and yellow brandish swords. The painting also features cannons at the top and bottom, adding a militaristic element to the scene. Beneath the large yellow cannon, six indistinct purple-clad figures, likely priests, are visible, adding a religious or spiritual layer to the composition. Next to the bottom cannon, the shape of a dog is clearly outlined. Kandinsky's use of abstraction and bold colors reflects his pioneering approach to painting, emphasizing emotional and spiritual expression over realistic representation. Its abstract nature, rich symbolism, and dynamic composition invite viewers to explore and connect with the painting on an individual and emotional level, showcasing Kandinsky's ability to convey complex ideas through abstract forms and colors.
Vasily Kandinsky. Composition 2. Painted in 1910, this artwork resides in the Guggenheim Museum in New York. The composition features numerous human figures, each in different poses, creating a dynamic and varied visual experience. The figures seem to be engaged in various activities, adding complexity to the composition. The background showcases a boat navigating turbulent waters, contributing to the overall sense of movement in the artwork. Waves, depicted in striking yellow and blue hues, dominate a significant portion of the painting. One figure stands out, painted in yellow with arms outstretched. Towards the lower part of the painting, various human figures are depicted in different poses, some lying down, some standing, and others kneeling. The focal point of the composition captures a rider on horseback attempting a daring leap. Symbolically, this scene represents an attempt to transition from reality to abstraction. The artwork invites viewers to embark on an inner journey into the world of imagination and the unconscious. Colors play a pivotal role, inviting observers to let the hues affect them and find meaning within the painting. Despite elements of representation, especially evident in the human figures, the painting leans towards abstraction. Kandinsky skillfully employs black borders, pushing the subject matter to the brink of disappearance, thereby blurring the line between representation and pure abstraction. The painting reflects Kandinsky's interest in the relationship between colors and emotions. He believed that colors and shapes had inherent spiritual and psychological meanings, and he aimed to evoke specific emotions in viewers through his use of color and form. Therefore, viewers are encouraged to interpret the painting based on the interplay of colors, shapes, and lines, rather of representational elements. Vasily Kandinsky Black Arch The artwork, created in 1912, is housed within the Georges Pompidou Museum in Paris. In Black Arch, Kandinsky explores the interplay of form and color, creating a visually striking composition that captures the viewer's attention. One of the notable features of Black Arch is the near disappearance of recognizable figures within the artwork. The exception to this is the outline of a knight wielding a sword, depicted prominently through a bold black line at the center of the image. This central figure, often associated with the motif of a horse, is a recurring theme in Kandinsky's work and symbolizes the perpetual struggle between opposing forces, good and evil, spirit and matter. Within this painting, the rider and the black arch serve as pivotal elements connecting the dominant free color volumes, shaping the composition. These volumes create a sense of balance and unity, despite the dynamic and abstract nature of the painting. Examining the lower right corner of the painting, a vibrant red surface energetically converges toward the center, creating a sense of movement and intensity. On the left, a blue surface appears to recede, contributing to the overall balance and tension within the composition. Kandinsky skillfully employs the interplay between cold and warm hues, as well as bright and dark shades, to evoke a palpable sense of contrast and dynamism. The central focus of the artwork is the prominent black arch. This arch, along with the surrounding elements, contributes to the overall tension and energy within the composition. The use of abstract forms in black arch allows Kandinsky to transcend external reality, guiding the viewer into a new world of art, disconnected from literal representation. The painting's interpretation and contemplation encourage viewers to explore their own emotional responses and connections to the symbolic elements presented.
Vasily Kandinsky. Improvisation 26, Rowing. Created in 1912 and housed within the Lubakos Museum in Munich, this artwork preserves some distinct elements of representation. The central focus of the artwork is the representation of a paddle boat, a recurring motif in Kandinsky's works. The boat is depicted with defined shapes enclosed by a black border, and six paddle-like black lines derive from it, intersecting with a red bow. It represents progress and movement, symbolizing perhaps the journey of life. Simultaneously, the boat carries perils, reflecting the fragility and vulnerability inherent in human existence. Kandinsky skillfully captures the dual nature of these symbols, creating a composition that resonates on both an intellectual and emotional level. A prominent red spot resembling a human figure resides in the bottom right corner. The color palette employed by Kandinsky is conveying the emotional tone of the artwork. Predominantly featuring black, yellow, red, and blue hues, the painting exudes a somber atmosphere. The intersecting black lines extending from the paddle boat create a sense of dynamic movement. The black shapes at the top of the composition, resembling a flying bird, introduce an intriguing and somewhat ominous element. This motif, reminiscent of death, adds a layer of complexity to the painting. The incorporation of darker tones contrasts with the vibrant red and yellow, creating a dynamic interplay that intensifies the emotional impact on the viewer. Kandinsky's use of abstract forms and colors in Improvisation 26, Rowing, is a manifestation of his belief in the power of art to transcend the material world and communicate directly with the viewer's soul. The painting is a blend of colors and shapes, creating a visually stimulating experience that invites viewers to interpret and connect with the artwork on a personal and emotional level. Vasily Kandinsky Improvisation, Gorge. The artwork, created in 1914, currently resides in the Lombarcos Museum, in Munich. The painting offers a captivating exploration of abstract expressionism, showcasing Kandinsky's innovative approach to art. At the center of the artwork is a small couple crossing a bridge over a gorge, with a vibrant waterfall nearby its colors merging into the lower part of the painting. Dominating the composition are two swirling, colorful staircases, creating a dynamic and visually engaging focal point. The artist, akin to composing music, initiates with a thematic element, the gorge, and then enriches the composition through a vivid, fervent color palette. Kandinsky's abstract expression pulsates with the power of colors, often evoking a delicate and lyrical ambience reminiscent of music. The painting features bold, sweeping brushstrokes and a rich palette of colors, reflecting the artist's fascination with the spiritual and emotional power of abstraction. Kandinsky believed that colors and forms could evoke profound feelings and inner experiences, and this belief is evident in the expressive and harmonious qualities of this artwork. As with many of Kandinsky's abstract works, this composition also invites viewers to interpret and experience the painting on a personal and emotional level, as abstract art often relies on individual perception and emotional response. Vasily Kandinsky. Moscow 1. The artwork, created in 1916, is housed in Moscow's Tretyakov Museum and captures the essence of the red square in the artist's beloved city. Kandinsky, who had returned to Moscow due to the outbreak of World War I in 1914, painted this scene during his stay. 
In the center of the painting, a tiny couple stands atop a hill, gazing out over the city. The architectural elements depicted in the artwork include not only churches but also skyscrapers, bridges, and chimneys. This contradiction of traditional elements, like churches, with more modern features, such as skyscrapers speaks to the city's dynamic nature and its ability to embrace both historical and contemporary influences. Kandinsky's choice to portray these structures in vibrant colors adds to the visual richness of the artwork. The composition is adorned with rays resembling clouds that traverse the sky, illuminating the city below. Additionally, Flocks of black birds can be seen flying in the sky. The couple on the hill appears enveloped in a golden aura, evoking a sense of positivity and warmth, suggesting that the painting captures the tranquil moment of sunset. The pervasive warmth extends throughout the cityscape, contributing to an overall sense of harmony. From a technical perspective, the painting reflects Kandinsky's return to Impressionism, evident in the vibrant and expressive use of colors. The artist's skillful handling of hues contributes to the creation of a visually striking and emotionally composition. The Impressionistic techniques, such as loose brush strokes and the emphasis on capturing the essence of a scene rather than its realistic details, add a sense of immediacy and energy to the artwork. Additionally, the influence of futurism is discernible in the dynamic portrayal of continuous movement within the bustling urban landscape. This dynamic quality conveys a sense of progress and change, reflecting the rapid advancements and transformations occurring in early 20th century Moscow. This fusion of artistic styles adds depth to the painting, reflecting the intersection of tradition and modernity. The painting's balance reflects Kandinsky's mastery, in orchestrating visual elements to create a unified and aesthetically pleasing composition. Through its intricate details, vibrant colors, and fusion of styles, the artwork captures the essence of Moscow, during a transformative period, inviting viewers to explore its various layers of symbolic meaning. Vasily Kandinsky In Grey The artwork, created in 1919, is housed at the Georges Pompidou Museum in Paris. During the period from 1911 to 1920, Kandinsky's artistic creations were characterized by a blend of abstraction and expressionism. His renowned pieces, categorized as improvisations, impressions, and compositions, are considered highlights of his career. In Gray is no exception, showcasing the artist's ability to create a harmonious interplay of forms, shapes, and colors. The painting features a skillful integration of geometric elements, showcasing Kandinsky's interest in the abstract representation of forms. A vibrant palette including hues of blue, yellow, red, black, and subtle grey tones, adds a dynamic energy to the composition. Subtle grey tones are strategically employed, contributing to the overall title of the artwork, in grey suggesting a deeper exploration beyond the surface. One of the notable elements is the black arch, a recurring motif in Kandinsky's works, situated on the left side of the composition. This arch intersects with a red circle resembling a sun, casting illumination across the painting. The presence of the black arch and red circle suggests a contrast between darkness and illumination, perhaps representing opposing forces or emotions. On the opposite side, diagonally from the red circle and black arch, a boat with rowers navigates the sea, suggesting perhaps a journey or exploration. To the right, a sizable whale emerges, its back and tail clearly defined. The whale descends into the depths of a colorful ocean, 
surrounded by various marine life, insects, and birds. This imagery creates a rich and complex visual narrative, inviting viewers to interpret the symbolism and connections between the different elements. Despite the apparent chaos, every line and brushstroke serve a purpose. Kandinsky's deliberate construction suggests a thoughtful and intentional combination of abstraction, expressionism, and symbolism, where each element contributes to the overall emotional and aesthetic impact. The painting's elements guide the viewer on a journey into a profound inner world filled with lyrical expressions, captivating shapes, and vivid colors. Vasily Kandinsky White Line The artwork, dating back to 1920, is housed in the Museum Ludwig in Köln, Germany. It signifies the artist's shift towards geometric elements in their composition. The central focus of the painting is a striking white line that curves and spans the image's core. This emphasizes the importance of line and form in the artwork. The description highlights the artist's shift towards geometric elements in the composition. This suggests a departure from more traditional and representational styles towards abstraction or a stylized form of representation. The white line serves as a portal to the world within the painting. This characterization suggests that the line acts as a transformative or transcendent element, inviting viewers to engage with the artwork in a deeper, more contemplative manner. It can be also described as an irregularly shaped window containing naturalistic elements like a blue mountain shape. This blending of geometric abstraction with naturalistic elements creates a dynamic and intriguing visual contrast. The white stroke, dividing the image in two, assumes a pivotal role in the composition. This suggests a deliberate choice by the artist to create a sense of balance or tension within the artwork. The white line is not merely a formal element but carries symbolic weight, representing the coexistence of the physical world and a new artistic world. This duality suggests a thematic exploration of the relationship between reality and artistic interpretation. The description emphasizes the artist's intention to convey the coexistence of the physical and artistic worlds, both of which are deemed equally genuine and distinct. The use of the white line as a symbolic bridge between these worlds implies a deliberate effort by the artist to communicate a conceptual or metaphysical message through their work. The composition appears to be a thought-provoking artwork that combines geometric abstraction with naturalistic elements, using a symbolic white line to convey a deeper exploration of the relationship between reality and artistic expression. Vasily Kandinsky Composition 8 The artwork, dating back to 1923, is housed in the Guggenheim Museum in New York, originating from Vasily Kandinsky's tenure at the Bauhaus School in Weimar. During his time at the Bauhaus School, Kandinsky aimed to teach to his students the interplay between basic geometric shapes and primary colors, yellow, red, and blue. In this piece, Kandinsky utilized a white backdrop to accentuate the intricate relationships between colors and geometric forms. The painting showcases an array of elements, straight and curved lines, patterns reminiscent of chessboards, angles, triangles, circles, and semicircles. Kandinsky keenly observed how certain colors gained intensity within specific shapes while diminishing in others. For instance, vibrant colors became even more striking within angular compositions, exemplified by the intense yellow hue within the bottom right triangle. Conversely, 
Blue deepened within curved shapes but faded within angular ones. Beyond its pedagogical significance, the composition evokes diverse images for the observer. Towards the top, two concentric circles in black and purple tones, outlined in a gentle shade of red-pink, captivate the viewer. Just below, a red circle with a yellow outline draws attention. These circles recur throughout the artwork, some reminiscent of suns, while others, white semicircles, resemble floating clouds. At the center, triangular shapes in blue, white, and green mimic mountainous formations. The interplay of these geometric components and colors forms a composition that is simultaneously lyrical, harmonious, and dynamic in the eyes of the beholder. One of the remarkable aspects of Composition 8 is its ability to convey a sense of movement and rhythm. The shapes and colors appear to be in constant motion, creating a visually stimulating experience for the viewer. Kandinsky believed that colors and forms could elicit emotional responses and spiritual connections, and Composition 8 exemplifies his deep understanding of the interplay between color, form, and emotion. The painting is often interpreted as a visual representation of Kandinsky's synesthetic experiences, where he perceived colors and shapes as having musical qualities. It reflects his belief in the spiritual power of art and the idea that abstract forms and colors could communicate on a profound level, transcending the constraints of representational art. Vasily Kandinsky. Yellow, red, blue. Created in 1925, the painting resides within the Georges Pompidou Museum in Paris, drawing viewers in with its vivid primary colors, which inspired its title. In yellow, red, blue, Kandinsky explores the interplay of primary colors, yellow, red, and blue which he believed had inherent symbolic and emotional qualities. He associated yellow with warmth and spirituality, red with materialism and aggression, and blue with spirituality and intellect. The painting features these colors in bold, flat planes, intersecting and overlapping to create a visually striking composition. The artwork is visually divided into two distinct sections, On the left side, intricate linear elements blend with polygons and circles, painted predominantly in vibrant yellow, exuding brightness and energy. Meanwhile, the right side features darker tones, showcasing a prominent blue circle accompanied by a large red-purple area. Boldly colored polygons merge seamlessly, resembling chessboard patterns and potentially representing Kandinsky's color palettes. At the center of the composition, a flag-like shape captures attention, complemented by a thick black wavy stripe on the right. The intentional design invites viewers to embark on an emotional and intellectual journey, regardless of where they begin exploring the artwork. Some may start on the left, transitioning from bright yellow to deep blue tones, while others might begin on the right, following the path from the dark blue circle through vivid red-purple shapes to the brilliance of yellow. The painting's perfect balance is achieved through its masterful use of colors and geometric shapes, captivating audiences with its harmonious composition. Kandinsky's approach to art was deeply influenced by his belief in the spiritual power of color and form. He sought to evoke emotions and spiritual experiences through abstract compositions, freeing art from the constraints of representing the physical world. Yellow, red, blue reflects his pursuit of a universal language of abstraction, where colors and shapes communicate directly with the viewer's soul, bypassing the need for recognizable objects or figures. Vasily Kandinsky 
several circles. The artwork, crafted in 1926, currently resides in the Guggenheim Museum in New York. A minimalist design adorns the canvas, a series of circles in varied hues and sizes set against a deep black background. In several circles, Kandinsky explores the potential of geometric shapes, particularly circles, to convey a sense of harmony, movement, and rhythm. Kandinsky was deeply interested in the symbolic and emotional meanings of colors and shapes. In analyzing the painting's meaning, it becomes apparent that its abstract nature permits viewers to interpret it in various ways, encouraging a wide range of perspectives. To some, the painting evokes cosmic imagery, resembling planets and constellations suspended in space. According to the artist, the black background represents the hidden darkness within us, as well as the black of the universe. In stark contrast, a white halo encircles a prominent blue circle, possibly symbolizing the universe's vibrant energy and its silent, omnipotent force. Circles of diverse sizes and colors converge, collide, and overlap in a profound, infinite silence. Within the expansive blue circle lies another black circle, adorned with scattered smaller black circles, depicting the enigmatic black holes of the cosmos and, perhaps, the depths of the human soul. Kandinsky was deeply interested in the symbolic and emotional meanings of colors and shapes. In several circles, he used bold and contrasting colors such as red, yellow, blue, and black to evoke different emotions and create a visually stimulating experience for the viewer. For artists like Kandinsky, geometric shapes held spiritual significance, representing profound thoughts abstracted into artistic forms. In Kandinsky's perspective, the circle epitomizes the combination of stark contrasts, harmoniously blending concentric and eccentric elements into a singular, balanced form. Among the fundamental shapes, the circle most transparently embodies the elusive fourth dimension, as Kandinsky eloquently stated, the circle is the synthesis of the greatest contrasts. Vasily Kandinsky Blue Sky The artwork titled Blue Sky was created by Kandinsky in 1940 and is housed within the Georges Pompidou Museum in Paris. During his fifth and final artistic period from 1933 to 1940, Kandinsky resided in Paris, a city known for its cultural environment and artistic inspiration. The artist's departure from more abstract forms to a focus on ornamentation is evident in this artwork, where he incorporates a diverse and vivid color palette. One distinctive aspect of this painting is Kandinsky's exploration of microorganisms, inspired by the world of biology and the study of life, through the lens of a microscope. The influence of biology is manifested in the transformation of marine microorganisms into fantastical creatures. The painting captures the graceful movement of jellyfish, squids, octopuses, and other marine life against a serene blue backdrop. By drawing inspiration from the microscopic world, he not only incorporates a scientific element into his art but also demonstrates a fascination with the unseen and the intricate patterns of life. The transformation of these microorganisms into larger-than-life, imaginative creatures reflects Kandinsky's ability to synthesize scientific inspiration with artistic creativity. The surrealist style with traces of influence from artists like Salvador Dali and Hohen Miro, is evident in its dreamlike quality and fantastical elements. While Kandinsky is known for his pioneering work in abstraction, his engagement with surrealism during this period displays a sense of magic realism into his art. 
The charming movement of marine creatures against the blue backdrop suggests a fluidity and rhythm in the composition. The surrealist influence is also reflected in the detailing and precision of forms, creating a harmonious yet enigmatic visual experience for the viewer. Kandinsky's emphasis on inner vision invites viewers to connect with the painting on a deeper, more personal level. The emotional resonance of Blue Sky lies in its ability to evoke feelings of tranquility and harmony. The serene blue backdrop, combined with the fantastical marine life, creates a contemplative atmosphere, providing viewers with a visual escape and an emotional connection with Kandinsky's fresh comprehension of the world through art. Vasily Kandinsky. Tempered Elan. This artwork, created in 1944, resides in the Georges Pompidou Museum in Paris and marks the final masterpiece of the artist. The painting transports viewers into an enchanting underwater world, characterized by a play of vibrant colors set against a misty background of grayish-purple tones. The central focus of the artwork is a colossal mythical fish, a dominating presence that immediately captures attention. Positioned in the heart of the painting, this mythical fish is surrounded by a jellyfish with gracefully trailing tentacles in the upper left corner. In the lower right, an assortment of fantastical marine creatures and delicate microorganisms float, all suspended in an ethereal stillness. The mythical fish, jellyfish, and other marine creatures carry symbolic significance. Kandinsky's use of fantastical elements invites viewers to interpret the painting's meaning, perhaps exploring themes of mystery, imagination, or the unknown. While Kandinsky's previous work, Blue Sky, featured a rhythmic and joyful quality with diverse living beings against a soft blue backdrop, Tempered Elan takes a different approach. The background is more blurred, and the presence of sea creatures is sparse. This composition conveys a profound sense of stillness, evoking the feeling of a static marine environment frozen in time. According to the artist's perspective, Tempered Elan allows viewers to almost discern the sound of silence. Kandinsky, in his reflections on the painting, highlights the significance of recognizing humanity's evolving ability to appreciate this silence as one of its newfound strengths. This notion suggests a deeper contemplation on the transformative power of silence, inviting viewers to explore the serene depths of the underwater world depicted in the painting.